Does yours have a moco? Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Wave 1 Avengers Infinity War Thanos build a figure waves Iron Man. So, this would be Mark 48 Iron Man, right? Uh, am I wrong about that? No, I don't know. Anyway, on the side, you can see a nice image of Iron Man right there. And then on the very back, you can see that we get a read up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. We get a nice product shot of Iron Man on the back. And then there's all the other figures from the wave. Then we get another image of Iron Man. Well, it's the same image of Iron Man on this side, but you know, just reverse on this side. And then we get the A for Avengers on the top and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Iron Man out of the packaging. And Hasbro's just an Iron Man and Captain America a six inch action figure machine, right? Now we get a brand new mold over here and it looks pretty good. I mean, as you can already see, we get some nice fine detailed sculpt throughout the body on this thing. So I gotta say, it does look cool right off the bat. As far as accessories goes, he does not come with a whole lot, but still let's take a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer Closer look at Iron Man. So here are the accessories that we get with this figure. We get two sets of interchangeable hands. We get the fisted hands, and then we get the wide open repulsor blast hands. And then we get these effect pieces that we've seen many, many times before, but this time they're in teal. So that's kind of an interesting color, which I, I'm not really the biggest fan of. I mean, it's not horrible, but yeah, I prefer the blue or the orange, but they gotta do something just slightly different every time they release these, which I appreciate, but I don't know. This isn't my favorite color that they've used, and they plug into the wide open hands, as you can see right there. We do get some really nice paint on these, so and I'm gonna get more into the paint in just a second with the figure, but I really like how that red is nice and solid, nice bright gold, but we don't get a hinge on these repulsor hands, and that really bothers me. It really helps having that articulation on these, and I don't know why they took that away. And then we get the fisted hands right here, which do have the hinges that move up and down. So, wish we really had that hinge on the repulsor hands. So here's looking at the head sculpt, and I really like this design, and I don't know what mark this is. Uh, my guess was 48. Someone in the comments from another video told me that this is Mark 50. Uh, last time we saw Iron Man was in Spider-Man Homecoming, and he was wearing the Mark 47, and I like the difference in the sculpt over here. I love how we have this unique detail of you know these pieces wrapping around the sides we get some nice teal around the white portions of the eye sockets and I think the gold came out looking very clean there aren't any weird cracks or anything like that in the gold I really dig it and the helmet looks really good it looks like they've used a combination of the paint mixed in with the plastic with paint over that uh, it, that's what it comes off as to me anyway oh I guess you could see some marbleization and stuff going on right there in the very top Trying to figure it out, man. I don't know exactly what they're doing over there, but it's different and it's better. It has some of the qualities that I really liked from that Invincible Iron Man figure. However, I will say, on the chest, you could see all kinds of marbling, and that's a bummer. So, I'm not going to ignore that. You, you totally see it there. But I think the arms came out really good. and th Actually, the limbs in general just came out a lot better looking, I think. But I like the touches of gold that we're seeing right here. Even looking underneath the armpit, we get some nice details. And they even have these little touches of blue. I think that looks really good. I'm liking that. You know, pretty awesome. Even tiny little touches of silver right here in the creases. So this is pretty awesome. I don't get sick of the Iron Man armors. And I am stoked that Hasbro is making newer versions of the older armors for that 10-year Marvel Studios line that's coming out. And you can see on the hands right here, it looks pretty sweet. And then on the back, we get a decent amount of paint, too. It doesn't feel like they skimped out, you know? Some good gold paint right there on the back. You know, not too bad. Nice touches of silver once again. Iron butt with paint on the back. So that's good. And you can see some more silver and blue on the thighs. And look, you know? Like, we get these really smooth red sections over here. Maybe brightening things up will help that marbleization pop. And you can kind of see it a little better. Like, there's a very, very slight difference in red between this hip joint right here and the thigh, right? Just very, very subtle, but practically the same. It's good enough for me. I think it looks pretty good. 
Then the feet look a little on the dull side. They did sculpt some holes at the bottom of each of his feet. And you can see you get some boosters at the bottom right there as well. Then here's looking at the back once more. Not too bad looking as far as the sculpt and paint goes, really. Now before getting into the articulation, I did want to show off a head swap. So you can grab the Robert Downey Jr. head and plop it on there. That works out pretty well. It's a fairly bulky armor, but it still looks pretty good. No complaints about that. Getting this back on here, it is kind of a stiff fit. <laughs> Yeah, there it goes. Uh, you can get the head looking up very far, so that is awesome. I really like that. You can make the head look down far. It has that forward and back movement that helps with that articulation. You can move the head side to side, and there's no real head pivot over here. Maybe a little bit of wobbling. You get a shoulder joint that moves outward that far, and it can move down that far. You can rotate 360. You get a bicep swivel. You get double jointed elbows. Now, one thing that bothered me with this figure at first is that I didn't think I could straighten out the arms, and that really bothered me a lot, but you got to push into this lower elbow joint right here that goes into the forearm and that will straighten out and then you could have a straight arm. So that makes a difference for me anyway. Thought I'd mention it. Uh, we get rotation and hinges for the fisted hands where we talked about the repulsor hands. You get a swivel for the diaphragm. We get some diaphragm pivot. He crunches forward that much, back that much. No waist articulation or anything, but his hips move outward that far and you can't see him kick forward that much, not back much. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, which are pretty stiff. There you go. Nice stiff joints, and then the ankles do move down, they do move up, and he does have ankle pivot. And one thing I should have mentioned earlier too is that the arms on both sides are bowed at the elbow, so I do need to heat those up, straighten them out at some point. But anyway, to measure out this figure, you can see that he is standing under 7 inches tall. And for your Iron Man armor comparison, we have our Infinity War movie version next to the Spider-Man Homecoming movie version, the Mark 47, which is reused from the Mark 46. And you can see that this new figure stands a little bit shorter. And man, I'm really liking this figure more I look at it. You know, it has a lot of details in here. A lot of different colors too. I'm digging it. And then here's Iron Man next to the Captain America figure from this same way from Infinity War. And somebody had mentioned the idea of using a fisted hand from one of the previous Captain America figures. I took it from this one right here. And it does not work. I, I tried it earlier and you can't take this gloved left fist and plug it in there. The, the hole just doesn't work. Plus the hand is significantly smaller than the other one so they, they don't really fit in size either. You know, It would look weird. And then here's Iron Man next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, cool suit. Hey, do you think you can give me a ride like how you did that one time? I gotta thank you guys for watching my video. It really means a lot that you guys watch my videos from the very beginning all the way to the very end. If you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of the figure, let me know what you think of the review, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as well as hitting that notification bell to ensure that my videos pop up in your feed. Now, I do like this figure, but there are things that I don't like about it. I don't like the teal effects that we're seeing on this guy. It makes it harder to interchange with other older effects that we'd gotten from Iron Man figures. Then there's some parts that have some obvious looking marbling, you know, and that kind of bothers me a little bit. The other thing is that I am a bit jaded with so many movie Iron Man figures that we're getting. It's like, how long is it going to be until people are going to stop getting excited about getting a new Iron Man? And this is a good figure, I think. I think it's a good looking piece. I like the sculpt. I like the paint apps. I really think it's one of the better Iron Man figures. But regardless of all of that, I still give it a sud rating of meh. So cool piece, but nothing that you're going to really want to rush to get. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, if you want to see a photo gallery of images of this figure, it's over at MarvelousNews.com and ShardimusPrime.net. And do not forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything I talked about in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Oh yeah, and stay tuned for the Toy Fair coverage. Yeah, expect to be seeing that very soon. Okay, catch you guys later. Got a plane to catch. Peace! Shard Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.